Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of my review show thingy. Today we're doing a personal favorite of mine, Tiger Millionaire. And yes, it's a personal favorite because, spoiler alert, I really like this one a lot. And with that being said, let's jump in to what I like about it. So for the first thing I like in this episode, I like how it immediately starts with Amethyst's reasons for wanting to wrestle in the first place. It starts with Amethyst and Garnet talking down to her, making her feel bad about herself. This sets up the idea that she wrestles just to, to make herself feel good, to, to feel like she has, she has something that's hers. This is very important. It would feel weird if they didn't do this. It would be like, why, why does she feel bad about herself? There's no precedent for them talking down to her at this point, so it's very important that they set the episode up with this. It's a tiny little detail, but it honestly ends up making the episode a lot better with it being in there. And with that being said, let's jump into the second thing I like in this episode. Now for the second thing that I really like in this episode, I like how they sort of portray Amethyst. How she pretends that she doesn't care about what anyone thinks about her, but she really does. Basically, with she says stuff like, that's just what people say to, to explain how they feel about you. And I only feel how I want to feel. Sounds like she doesn't care about what anyone thinks about her, right? Wrong. She actually cares a lot. And there are two, three really good examples of this episode. From the beginning, with the gems talking down to her, making it really clear why she wants to wrestle. Because she doesn't feel respected in her own home, basically. There's a bit more to it than that, but that pretty much sums it up. And when she's talking to Steven about how everyone hating her is part of the fun, the way she says it sort of implies she doesn't really think or like that everyone dislikes her, but she doesn't know how to make everyone like her, so she just deals with what she has right there. But you can tell she doesn't entirely like it. And the third thing, when Garnet and Ameth Garnet and Pearl fight Amethyst in the ring, and everyone starts cheering for her, she gets really happy. Because everybody likes her, and this is something she really wants. She just is bad at getting it. These are tiny little details that completely change the episode when you notice them. It's not just that Amethyst feels bad about herself, it also shows that Amethyst wants people to like her. She's just bad at getting them to do so. I honestly, that's hard to do, to make tiny little details like that that completely change an episode when you notice them. This is, this is probably my favorite episode so far. Another thing that I really like in Tiger Millionaire are, is how Garnet and Pearl are portrayed. They could have made them out to be unfeeling, not caring about what Amethyst wants. They could have, basically, instead of having them find out that Amethyst wrestles, just completely cut that part out. There's a reason it's in there. It's to make you understand, oh, they're not bad, they don't dislike Amethyst, they just don't understand her, and they don't understand why she would want to do this in the first place. But when confronted with the reason why, they understand and allow her to continue to do it. This shows that they are good people, they just have difficulty with understanding Amethyst. Again, that's not a huge, that's not a huge thing in the episode, but I just love how they do their hardest, they, make, they do their best to make it so you don't end up hating Garn and Pearl in this episode either. It sort of shows that no one's really at fault here. It's just how it is. Amethyst has issues that Pearl and Garnet can't really help her with. It takes up until Steven and her having a heart to heart for her to really begin to move past these feelings. It's just, it's really good. This whole episode is just really good. Now for the last thing I really liked in this episode, and it's a tiny thing, like I said before, all, all these tiny things end up making it a better episode as a whole, but there's this one thing, and I don't know if they did it on purpose or they didn't. It could just be entirely something they did on accident that I happened to notice. But this episode is, is Amethyst's whole arc about self-hatred summed up. It starts off happy and innocent, kind of the way Amethyst is in early season 1A. It then jumps into, you start, but you start to see the cracks in the facade, you start to see that she's not feeling so great about herself, until eventually she almost outright says it. She doesn't say it exactly, but she, at that point you realize, oh, she has serious self-hatred issues. 
until eventually she learns how to move past it in this episode and everything's happy again. She doesn't totally move past it, but she at least finds a way to cope with it. And is allowed and the other gems allow her to continue to use this method. Now it's not perfect, obviously, but I sort of do view this as Amethyst, the episode. Seemingly happy on the cover, but slowly reveals darker and darker things inside of it. Again, I don't I don't know if they did that on purpose or it was totally an accident. But it's just kind of a cool little thing that I thought I might point out. And it's not I know it's not perfect, it's not a one-to-one representation, but it's decently close. And now for what I don't like. And when I did these in the past, I might say, oh, I have nothing I dislike. That usually comes from a place of most apathy, of everything that's not, I don't like in the episode, just kind of not even being really worth talking about. And I usually find something like, oh, it's minor, but yeah, I can't find anything in this one. This is their best so far. It is so good. So basically, I have nothing I dislike. I cannot find anything in this episode I did not like when I watched it. Maybe I missed something, but I don't think I did. And now for the final verdict, even though this episode is pretty much pointless. I like it. I think it's good. I think it's a great start to Amethyst's... I refer to it as an arc. Steven Universe kind of does those a little differently. But it, it's a great introduction to Amethyst's as a deeper character just than the one who tells jokes. It's... So far, it's my favorite, and I don't know if that will be my favorite overall in 1A. I have a feeling I know what that's going to be before I watch it, but man, this one's really good. Way, I, honestly, Gem Glow is the only thing I consider to be kind of close to it. Beyond that, it's leagues above everything else I've watched so far. Amazing. Well, I'll see you guys next time uh, for Steven's Lion, an episode that there should be some stuff to talk about. Pretty decent episode, all things said. Well, I'll see you guys next time. If you, uh, I'm going to say this again. I know I said this past you. If you want to see more of these, you can subscribe. Don't feel like you have to. I'll make these regardless of whether you do or you don't. So if you don't want to, don't feel like you have to. I'm just throwing it out there. See you guys next time.